In this video, we're going to continue working with the sample di sampling distribution of the sample proportion, and we're going to continue with more practice problems. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So a, a market researcher for a phone company surveys 175 people and finds that the proportion of clients who are likely to switch providers when their contract expires is 0.18. What is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of that proportion? Well, let's first think about, can we assume a normal distribution? Well, independent. Um, we're going to assume that the respondents are independent of each other. We have no reason to believe that a market researcher wouldn't have independent examples uh, or independent observations. So we're going to assume that they're independent. Is our sample size sufficiently large 175 people isn't huge but it isn't small so in this case we're going to say yes um, randomization we're going to assume that the market researcher randomized their phone calls so yes is it less than 10 percent of the population Well, surely 175 people are less than 175 are less than 10% of the population of cell phone providers or cell phone users. So yes. And does N times P greater than or equal to 10? Well, let's just check here. We're told N is equal to 175 and P is equal to 0.18. So n times p is equal to 175 times 0 0.18 which is equal to 31.5 so yes it is bigger than greater than or equal to 10 and how about n times q greater than or equal to 10 well 1 minus p is equal to q so 1 minus 0 0.18 is equal to q so therefore 0 0.82 is equal to Q. So let's just check this. So um, N times Q is equal to 175 times 0. Point, sorry, 175 times 0 0.82 is equal to 143.5. Point five. So yes, n times q is greater than or equal to 10. So we've met all of our assumptions and conditions for a normal distribution, so we're okay with that. So what is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the proportion? So our standard deviation of the sampling distribution of our proportion, or standard deviation of p hat, is equal to the square root of p times 1 minus p divided by n. So this is equal to the square root. Well, we're told the value of P. We've already determined that right here, 0 0.18. So 0 0.18 times 1 minus P. Well, we've calculated that right here. Um, and we know that that is equal to 0 0.82 divided by N, which is our sample size, which was given to us in our question of 175 divided by 175. So the standard deviation of our, the sampling distribution, 0 0.18 times 0 0.82 divided by 175. Take the square root of that quotient and we get 0 0.02904 as our standard deviation of the proportion of our sample. So uh, in B, what is the probability that more than 21% of clients want to switch providers when their contract expires? Okay, so B. So Z is equal to the observed proportion of our sample minus the expected proportion divided by the standard deviation of the proportion of our sample. So we're interested in a proportion of 0.21. Minus 0 0.18, that's what we're told it is, divided by the standard deviation that we just calculated here in A, 0 0.02904. So we go ahead and do that. So 0 0.21 minus 0 0.18 divided by 
0.02904 gives us a Z score of 1.03. So let's go ahead and draw our standard normal distribution. We're centered around zero. We got a Z score here of 1.03. And the question asks us, what is the probability that more than 21% of clients want to switch providers? So that is the area to the right. So the probability that Z is greater than or equal to 1.03 is equal to one minus the probability that Z is less than or equal to 1.03. So let's go ahead and look up 1.03 on our Z table. So we go here and we find 1.03 and 1.03 is right here of 0 0.90824. So equals one minus 0 0.90824. So one minus 0 0.90824 gives us 0 0.09176. All right. And then finally C, if the researcher wants to reduce the standard deviation by half, how large a sample would she need? Okay, well, let's just make a little bit of room here for a second for us. Okay, so if we want to reduce the standard deviation by half, well, we've calculated our standard deviation already. So if our standard deviation of the proportion of our sample is equal to 0 0.02904, and we want to reduce it by half, what we're going to do is we're going to divide it by two. So 0 0.02904 divided by two, gives us a standard deviation or a target standard deviation of 0 0.01452. So how many people do we need in our survey in order to get that target standard deviation? So we know that the equation of SDP hat is equal to the square root of P times Q divided by N. Well, we know the standard deviation that we want to achieve we do not know our sample size, but we do know P and Q, 0 0.18 times 0 0.82 divided by N. So what we're going to do here is we're going to square both sides. So 0 0.01452 squared is equal to 0 0.18 times 0 0.82 divided by N. And all we're going to do here is rearrange our equation to solve for N. 0 0.18 times 0 0.82 divided by 0 0.01452 squared. So we can then do that. So 0 0.18 times 0 0.82 divided by 0 0.01452 squared. So what do we get? we get 700.09. So in other words, we need a sample size of roughly 700 people in order to reduce the standard deviation by half. Let's go ahead and do one more question here. So a market researcher for a provider of iPhone accessories wants to know the proportion of customers who own cars in order to assess the market for a new uh, iPod charger. Uh, a survey of 400 customers indicates that 76% own cars. What is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the proportion? So our standard deviation of the sampling distribution of our proportion is equal to the square root of P times one minus P divided by N. Well, we know that P is 0 0.76. So 0 0.76 times one minus 0 0.76 divided by our sample size, which is 400. So we do this, so 0 0.76 times 
one minus 0 0.76 divided by 400. Take that quotient, we take the square root, we get a standard deviation of 0 0.02135. We'll just round to four decimal points there. And then how large a sta standard deviation, uh, how large would the standard deviation have been if the researcher had surveyed only 125 customers, assuming the proportion is about the same? Okay, well, we'll just redo this. So the standard deviation of the proportion of our sample is equal to the square root of P times Q divided by N, where P is equal to 0 0.2. Seven, six, which means that Q is equal to 0 0.24 divided by, and then our new sample size here is 125. Of course, this is all under the square root. So 0 0.76 times 0 0.24 divided by 125 take the square root of that quotient, we get 0 0.03820 if we're rounding to four decimal points. So what do we notice when we compare these standard deviations? When we compare standard deviation one, where we had 400, and standard deviation two, where we had 125 people, what we notice is that the standard deviations of a smaller sample size are larger. So as n increases, as your sample size increases, your standard deviation decreases. And that is where we're going to leave it today. That's it for this video, but if you found that it helped to make statistics easy, consider showing your support by giving the video a like. And if you still need more help with statistics, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.